Marwa Alki for Beda Dan Kulu. Welcome to How It All Began. Yeah, it's our 900th subscriber special. It's slightly different. Uh, as you can see, we're out for a change at night, so the colour balance should be reasonably good. And we're going to look at what started? Where did I become interested in all these weird and wonderful things? So, I'm sat in a church. It's not in Malta, it's in Devon. Um, you will notice by the opening screen that actually it's really based in Malta, but we're not there and I can't get there. So we're doing it from Devon with pretty pictures. And we're sat at one of these strange beasts. Um, yeah, with, with two keyboards. And they've got pedals down there as well and all sorts of things. And we've not got it running because the blower makes a heck of a racket. You might be able to hear me speaking might be an advantage. One of my earliest memories was of seeing one of these machines. That's a very early memory and that was in a church in Salima in, oh, what was it, Rudolfo Street, Treat Rudolfo. And it was the Anglican church that wasn't the cathedral in Malta and it was where I was baptised, it's where I went to Sunday school probably the start of me being a bit revolutionary in theology when you know three-year-old asking their Sunday school teacher please miss what's a virgin and it set off the rest of them and if you're a Sunday school teacher you will probably not want to try and explain that one to a three-year-old uh, my brother was crucified somehow or another I ended up at end of the church where the organ was and I saw this thing and I was fascinated by the instrument so that sort of started a lifelong fascination with music what is also connected to the church and we'll see in a minute uh, are these big bronze things called bells and as you know from the channel that's quite a fascination what you don't know about is motorcycles first saw a motorcycle at about yay high in possibly even smaller I don't know, on the floor high uh, in Malta. Oh, mummy, what's that? And mother was not very keen on bikes. And never, was never very keen on bikes. But I've been riding them since I was 16. And I only have one leg shorter than the other because of it. Um, what else do we find in Malta? It's lighting. Lighting at the moment is being provided by an Arri Light 800. Uh, sort of the end of the profession, really. I was at school in uh, Vidala, a naval school, which we will talk about later, and was dragged before I started there to see the Christmas show or something. And my brother made me look at the ceiling and I saw the lights and I've been fascinated by stage lighting ever since. And the technology that goes with it, which we saw on our Christmas special with the things chasing behind us, couldn't bring those in here. Everything that I'm interested in stems from the first six years of my life living in Malta. Let's have a look at some more. This is the David Bruce Royal Naval Hospital Imtafa. It's actually quite big. This is where I was born. This is literally where it all began. And there's the clock tower. For those interested, three bells chiming only. This is where I learned to swim. It's not that good. There's just a hole in the ground and there were no safety rails. The waves are caused by the sea running up through a short inlet. It was quite fun, but wouldn't pass must now. And the sea, of course, warm and popular. Spent a lot of time in the sea, both off the rocky beaches and also some of the sandy ones. And that's probably where I discovered jumping into water and ultimately diving. It was quite good fun. First place I saw anyone dive was Malta. 
moving rapidly on. This is oh, Villa Rosa. It was a, another sort of seaside club. And those were the first diving boards I ever saw. Also saw a snake there. Mum hated this place, but I liked it and so did my brother. Again, moving rapidly on. This is what it led to. Height of stupidity. Literally, height. Ignore what Tom Daly says. It is not like a fairground ride. It's more like a road traffic accident. And here in glorious slow motion. Air brakes on. From 10 metres, that's 10 metres, you hit the water at about 32 mile an hour. It's going to hurt. Shouldn't be a big splash like that. I was a little bit short and went floppy on the entry. The interior of Holy Trinity Slima. Off to the left somewhere, there's a font, although they've probably ground it up and buried it since the uh, terrible crime. I was baptised there. First became consciously aware of bells here, St. Joseph's in Cedar. Only lift up the road. Became very aware, watching the ringers one day, about the age of three. We're back in church, unexpectedly. I had a look at the video, I started editing it, uh, and I realised to do it justice it's going to be two and a half hours long and take at least a year. That's no good. So we're going to stop now, and we're going to come back to this throughout the coming months, years, you know what I'm like. Hopefully we'll come back to this rather beautiful church with his, it's rather beautiful birdie up here. It's uh, Lecton, he's, he's lovely isn't he? Um, and we, we seem to quite like birds now, it's becoming a bit of a thing in this channel, or it will be. We'll come back here, we'll be visiting other churches, we'll be looking at bells, we'll be looking at churches, we'll be looking at what goes on, we'll be looking at photography as well, which I didn't think I mentioned, but yeah, that started in Malta. And of course we can't leave out the bike. I've had him 11 years, so the bike will feature. We'll have something on the bike. If you've been watching up this far, grazie Hafna. Thank you very much. Hopefully we'll see you again soon, both on this channel and on Imagine and Aspire. Nalak Iktatad. Sahar.